Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us tonight. I am Carrie Stober, the manager for the Plein Air Salon Art Competition, and we are here tonight to announce the awards for the October Plein Air Salon Art Competition. To get us started, I'd like to let those that are new to the Plein Air Salon know who we are. The Plein Air Salon is a monthly and annual online art competition created by Eric Rhodes, the publisher of Plein Air Magazine, and we are now in our 12th year. Since this competition was created by Plein Air Magazine, we do have Plein Air in our name, However, we are not strictly a plein air competition. We know that a lot of plein air artists will paint in various styles, mediums, and subjects, and so our competition is also open to various styles, mediums, and subjects. We have 11 monthly cycles with various judges and 22 winners. We award $1,100 each month to the first, second, and third place winners and the People's Choice Award. And then each of our category winners receives a gift card to paint to TV for an art instructional video. And all of these winners receive recognition and promotion through our various magazines, newsletters, websites, and social platforms. In addition, the monthly winners are automatically included in the judging for the annual competition that we hold in the spring, where we award $22,000. We announced the awards live on stage at the Plenar Convention, this year taking place in Denver, where the grand prize winner will receive a check for $15,000 and their winning painting will be featured on the cover of Plenar Magazine. Our judge for the October competition was Rose Branson. Rose is a master artist with an established history as an award-winning artist, exhibiting figurative, representational, and allegorical works in oil and multimedia in galleries across the country. She is a frequent demonstrator, workshop instructor, guest lecturer, and panelist discussing art and artist life in the 21st century at museums and national art competitions, conventions, and her paintings have been featured in national and international magazines podcasts, and journals. You can find more about her and view her work at rosefranson.com. Rose has been busy in her studio this week, so she's not able to join us, but I did ask her to share with us some of her thoughts, and um, we'll share those in a little bit, but for right now, let's get to the awards. First up are the honorable mention recipients. We have 19 honorable mentions each month, and these recipients are included in our monthly galleries on fineartconnoisseur.com and outdoorpainter.com, and in the permanent winner's archives on plannersalon.com. They'll be included in a showcase in the digital edition of the February-March issue of Planner Magazine and be promoted through our social media platforms. They will also receive a press release highlighting their award that they can share with their followers, collectors, and local media. First up is going to be our Animals and Birds honorable mention. The award goes to Who Shall for Ode to Peace and Joy. Our artist over 65, honorable mention, goes to Victor Shiro for In Garden Valley, Switzerland. <clears throat> Our beginner honorable mention goes to Deborah Fortin for Dusk on the Lore. Building honorable mention goes to Richie Carter for Say Preparer. Clouds and Sky honorable mention goes to Leonard Miserec for Looming Skies. Our drawing honorable mention goes to Tim Riley for Legacy. Our figure and portrait honorable mention goes to Luis Ezon for Birdland. Our floral honorable mention goes to Rachel Grimm for Midsummer Border. Our landscape honorable mention goes to Yan Liang for Cold Autumn. Our Nocturne Honorable Mention goes to Kirk Larson for Night Train to Manchester. Our Plein Air Acrylic Honorable Mention goes to Jimmy Navarro for Driftless Barn. Our Plein Air Landscape Honorable Mention goes to Chen Yang Chan for Wetland in the Morning. Our Plein Air Oil Honorable Mention goes to Jim McVicker for Paul and Nancy Paint Trinidad, California. Plein Air Outdoor Still Life Honorable Mention goes to Eugenia Alexeyev for After Rain. Plein Air Pastel Honorable Mention goes to Aaron Schur for Laguna Lights. Plein Air Watercolor and Gouache Honorable Mention goes to Orville Giguiento for Rise and Shine. Our Vehicle Honorable Mention goes to Catherine Trechok for The Little Red Trike. Our water honorable mention goes to Deborah Tilby for three small boats. And our Western honorable mention goes to J.M. Broderick for Daughter of the Moon. 
Congratulations to all of our honorable mention recipients. These awards can be seen on the Plein Air Salon website on, under the October Plein Air Salon Winners Gallery. And they will be also in the digital edition of the February-March issue of the Plein Air Salon Ma Plein Air Magazine. Each of these paintings is also eligible to be re-entered into the competition since they are honorable mentions. So go ahead and get those re-entered, guys. Now let's move on to our category awards. These artists receive a gift card for an instructional art video at paint.tube.tv. They will be included in a showcase in the February-March issue of Plein Air Magazine, the Winner's Gallery on fineartconnoisseur.com and outdoorpainter.com, the permanent Winner's Archives on plenairsalon.com, and are eligible for editorial coverage in our various e-newsletters. They will also be featured throughout our various social media platforms. Here we go. First up is Best Animals and Birds, Barbara Berry for New Year's Nap. Best Artist Over 65 winner is Thomas Bloomline for Dance of the Watercolors. Our Best Beginner winner is Jack Wells for Canned. Our Best Building winner is Catherine Regal for Childhood Reflections. Best Clouds and Sky winner is Michael Orwick for Grand Jeté. Our Best Drawing winner is George Sakaris. The Little Wooden Horse. Best Figure and Portrait goes to Marco Campos for Grief. Best Floral winner is Marsha Holmes for Rainbow Water Lilies. Our Best Landscape winner is Michael Orwick, It Comes in Waves. Our Best Nocturne winner is Christine Dabrowski for Monsoon Night. Best Plenty Acrylic winner is James Newman for Happy Hour at the Riverside. Best Plein Air Landscape winner is Abigail McBride for A Rhythm of Stripes. Our Best Plein Air Oil winner is Lon Brower for Tin Soldiers. Our Best Plein Air Outdoor Still Life winner is Abigail McBride for Levels. Our Best Plein Air Pastel winner is Aaron Schur for Keyhole Panorama. Our best plein air watercolor and gouache winner is John Preston for Fat Man and Little Boy. Our best vehicle winner is Christopher Alvarez for Gila Blue. Our best water winner is Matthew Cutter for Light Dance 3. Our best western winner is Vicki McMillan Hayes for Night Watch. Congratulations to all of our winners. You can view all of these paintings on the Plein Air Salon website under the October Winter Gallery. And you can see all of these paintings in the February, March issue of Plein Air Magazine. Since these winners are all entered now into the annual competition that will be held in the spring, they are not eligible to be re-entered. Congratulations, everyone. And let's move on now to our People's Choice Award. Our People's Choice Award is voted on by followers of these artists who put their paintings onto social media after they've entered them, and all of their followers are able to vote on them each month. This artist will receive $100 and is selected based on the number of votes that they receive. The People's Choice Award for October goes to Daniel Boudreau for SOAR. Congratulations, Daniel. At this point, we would typically bring the judge back onto the screen to talk about their experience with judging and what they look for when they're judging. However, Rose is busy getting ready for her next um, showing and doing lots and lots of painting in the studio. Um, but I did ask her to share her thoughts on what she does look for when she's judging a competition. So I wanted to share those with you. Judging a competition is a very difficult task. Judging images of artwork only on the computer never quite feels satisfying and complete. So when I judge, I try to consider impression, scale, color, paint quality, difficulty, tools utilized, stylization tropes, drawing, composition, inventiveness and interpretation, process and imitation. In this competition, I also tried to consider my potential bias in medium. I spent many hours with numerous entries that seemed quite equal in these regards and really had a very tough time choosing for this rather than that.
So I can concur that, uh, or confirm rather, that Rhodes did have a tough time judging. There were so many great paintings. It's really hard to decide which painting is going to get the award over something else. Typically, each month we have a top 100 finalist list that we um we, we pull based on the collective scores of each of the paintings. This month, however, we had 116 finalists simply because there were just too many great works that it's, you know, you can't narrow down when they're all, they're all worthy. So congratulations, you guys, you had some amazing paintings. And we are now going to announce the third place winner. Our third place winner receives $200 and we'll have a showcase in the e-newsletter Inside Art. And the award goes to Jane Hunt for her painting, Back Bay Evening. Congratulations, Jane. Rose had this to say about your painting. I chose the third place winner because from my first pass through 840 paintings, I remembered this artist's work. Each pass it remained as well as several other of their paintings. The skill, especially in color, edge, and as it seemed to be plein air, conveying the feeling of the artist being there. Congratulations, Jane. Next up is our second place award. This artist receives $300 and will also get a showcase in Inside Art. And the award goes to Jill Basham for View from Maison des Familles. Jill Rose said this, this entrant benefited from submitting images of working on location. The location images revealed scale and interpretation, but also to me more correctly, the impression of the painting rather than their submitted final image. I never forgot this painting. I like so many of the decisions, most of the paint application and editing. The difficulty of subject is a challenge and I believe the painting gives a wonderful, successful impression of it. Congratulations, Jill. And now for the final moment you've all been waiting for, our first place winner. Our first place winner receives $500, a feature on fineartconnoisseur.com, outdoorpainter.com, Fine Art Today, and Plein Air Today, as well as a showcase in Inside Art. And the winner is Marco Campos for Photo Taxes. Congratulations, Marco. Rose said, the first place winner successfully mastered the landscape, the figure, lighting, and story. It is large, so much like, so most likely life-size, which presents a great deal of difficulty to master. It stood out to me beyond or despite my preference of story as beautiful and extremely successful painting. Congratulations, Marco, and congratulations to all of our October Plein Air Salon winners and honorable mentions. Um, as I said, all of these winners will be featured on the Outdoor Painter website, Fine Art Connoisseur website, and the Plein Air Salon website in the October Winners Gallery. And for those of you that did not win an award this evening, I did want to share with you one note that Rose shared with me that I wanted to read with you. She said, keep entering if you believe in competitions, because you never know what the judge will like. A lot of you are really close to hitting home runs. And I do agree with that, um, especially since we had so many top finalists this month more than what we usually do because it, you guys just submitted some great great artwork that was really hard to you know really pick through each and every single one you guys are all worthy of an award in my book so congratulations and it it really does it really does matter you know who the judge is you know each judge looks for different not necessarily criteria but they each come from their own background they each have their own kind of niche. Um, so it just really depends on who your judge is. You know, Marco entered that painting last month and it received honorable mention. And this month with a different judge, it won first place, you know? So it just kind of depends on who you have. If you believe in your painting and you know that it's a winner, keep entering it because eventually you're going to get a judge that will select that painting as a winner. And Jim McVicker um, knows that very well. He entered his painting I think he said four or five times before a judge finally selected it. And it ended up being our grand prize winner that year. So keep entering. If you think you have a worthy painting, it's going to get there. Congratulations, guys. And don't forget that tonight is the last day to enter the November, our November Plein Air Salon competition. We've got Lance Reyes from Reyes Contemporary Galleries as our judge. So go ahead and head over to plenairsalon.com to get your paintings entered tonight. Thank you, guys, and have a great night.